Hello! In this short video I'll be showing you how to connect your game to the Machinations backend. I'll also show you how you can associate a new property in your game with your Machinations diagram. We're going to assume that you installed Machinations app from the Asset Store. That will give you access to the Tools menu. From here you can access the Machinations control panel. The panel is pre-configured to connect to the proper address. Go to your Machinations account now and grab your user key. You click this button here and you paste the key here. Now let's get the diagram token. In the future you will be able to use multiple diagrams in the same project. You get the diagram token by clicking any empty space in the diagram and clicking this button here. You paste the diagram token here and that's it. The Machinations control panel should be docked somewhere for later access since in the future we are going to add additional functionality here. I'm using a really simple diagram that is associated with our example scene in the Machinations app asset store package. The scene currently uses three properties from Machinations. There's a moving rectangle in the scene which moves around with a certain speed and changes movement directions at a given time. It can also be scaled on the x-axis. Now let's see if this syncs properly with machinations. Let's change the speed property. And indeed, the speed has increased and the change is instantaneous. This is the scriptable object right here where we are synchronizing all these properties. If I decrease the speed to 5, you will see that the changes also apply when, you are, when your game is not current, currently playing. Now let's create a new property to sync. I'll create a new pool, call it size y, and give it a value. Now the ID here is very important, 201. And this is the code for the scriptable object. And here we'll employ some good old-fashioned copy-pasting. We'll create the new property and we'll create the manifest for it. We will add something into the, ma into the manifest of this scriptable object. It's going to be size y and the new ID will be 201. And we also need to associate it with the scriptable object property. And of course, we need to apply it in the object, in the rectangle. Let's see how this works. Does it show up here? It does show up here in the scriptable objects panel. Its current value is zero, zero though, but already you see that it filled to one, it, it is 1000. It changed to 1000. So now indeed the rectangle is scaled on the y axis with 1000. Mission accomplished.